He just he was just telling everyone how we live on a frisbee. Um, <laughs> what's up, suckers? I'm here with the Sony 400 millimeter 2.8. And what we're gonna do is a shoot. Now I'm gonna do off camera flash. So we're gonna put them underneath the pier. We're gonna shoot on the beach. We're here at Oceanside. We got some people over here doing what Californians do best, getting wasted. Does that make you nervous? Does that make you nervous? No. no? Does that make you at home nervous? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does that make you guys nervous? So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start with Miss M. We're gonna take you down there, put you in the middle of the uh, pier. Got some great leading lines and we're gonna shoot with this thing and I hope you guys enjoy. Test, 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 test. Check, check, check. Is that firing? That's perfect, kind of spin around. People seem to really like these images from when I posted them on Instagram and I think the reason for that is because of the compression. You're watching 400 millimeters of compression draw the columns and those leading lines into Emily. And then when you add the flash, it all comes together for a really fun shot. Do what I do, okay? Bring your feet together, and your knee out and pop it over. There you go. There you go, and to look that way. Beautiful. I'm sure you guys loved watching me model there. Emily does it a lot better than I do, but I'm having to show her what to do simply because of the fact that where she was so far away we couldn't communicate. Using the flash in this scenario enabled me to really darken and draw richness out of the column. So you'll notice in this shot here, uh, lots of color, rich contrast. This shot here is with no flash. It's natural light and it's equally as beautiful. And it just shows you the difference between the two and I think more than anything what I want photographers to do is to be able to do both and then decide what they like best. Yeah, lean against it. There you go. So do we normally use a 400 millimeter for portraits? Well, no. But it is fun to show the difference and not always have stuff be wildlife or portraits with a lens like this. These people are so dumb, I'm ready to blow my brains out. We're talking about flat earth. All right. What? Yeah. Great job, Emily, by the way. So how did the light do? Well. The great thing about the Evolve or the 8200 or something like that is the fact that it's cheap, it's small, and it's pretty portable. The downside is the battery life, if you're firing it at anything like this which requires a lot of power, you're going to burn through it quick and the recycle time is slow. So typically I don't use something like this. I wanted to show you guys what a product like this can do, but don't be expecting fast recycle times or anything like that because that is not what this product is intended for. Big thanks to Emily for doing such an amazing job at this shoot. This is one of her first shoots that we did together and she just killed it. So remember my friends, until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find a regular that works for you and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you want to learn more online with us, go to patreon.com slash Photography. And if you want to do crazy crap like this in crazy locations, go to jacelinner.com slash register and we'll sign you up for a workshop. Well, actually, you have to sign up. And you kind of pay a little bit of money and then you get to play with us. It's awesome. Do it. <laughs> All right, yeah. People are going to be like, what just happened? <laughs>